So Darren, in the previous video, we talked about personal branding and we kind of touched that how you can showcase your personal by creating content or commenting. But still for some job seekers or newcomers here in Canada, they feel like, what am I going to talk about? I don't know. Or you talked about posting articles or sharing articles. And I said, they don't know. Do you have anything how people can start slowly and go later on bigger? Yeah, so um, when you're interested in a particular job, it's it's easy to find content related to that industry. You can start to repurpose that mm -hmm. as other content, whether it's going to be PDFs or carousel posts or Word, Word, um, uh, Word text or Word-based content, or if you want to do video on it and things like that. Um, it, it's it's good to look at other content because it, it one you're learning more about the industry even if you've been in it a long time there's always something else that you can learn you can share those articles then you can start engaging within their posts okay then posts and you're starting to um engage mm -hmm. and connect with people who are already working in the industry you're trying to get into if you've already been in the industry you're just going to start to build your your network and i think we'll probably talk about networking at some point shortly um but when it comes to creating your own content by repurposing other content and your own knowledge if you've got knowledge in the industry what it starts to do is showcase you as a um some form of an expert or a professional within that niche so it shows that you know what you're talking about what you yes. don't want to be doing is um say you're trying to get into um let's say i don't know civil engineering or mechanic mechanical engineering what you don't want to be doing then is is putting a load of content out about economics and, you know, the financial markets because it's completely irrelevant content to what you're trying to do. So it doesn't mm -hmm. align with your goal. So it's, it's important to make sure that if you're posting content, it's always trying to get into a direction. You've got to be very um, purpose driven behind how you use LinkedIn, because if you if you if you don't really have a goal, you're not going to get to a destination within the platform. And that's really important. And the more articles you share, the more posts you, you put out about what you're interested in, that also helps towards being found through SEO because you're you're going to have naturally have keywords in there, whether it's engineering or finance or coaching or yes. anything like that. When you post those, those posts, people can search for a, a particular keyword in the search bar, click on posts, and all the posts that have mentioned those keywords will be in the feed. So you can filter them down. Yes. So people who are posting that if recruiters are looking for who's who's active online posting constantly about this you know mm -hmm. if they do want to go down that route of who's posting constantly about this as an interest they can filter them out quite quickly there as well so then they can come to the profile and as long as the profile is aligned then it starts the ball rolling of okay they're likely to get in touch as long as it's what they're looking for yeah, I totally agree with you. Uh, those are important things. I tell my clients, you know, identify, let's say, five or 10 companies, follow their LinkedIn profile, engage with their content, share with your thoughts, and start a small, you know, maybe every day at five, uh, make five comments. And then next month, you make 10 comments. You become more comfortable. And maybe every Friday, as you mentioned on Google, what industry you want to go, see what are the trends, what are the articles, summarize it or say, I read this article, these are my thoughts and then post and then recruiters will come and see that you are a thought leader and then go from there. Yeah. You don't have to be big from day one. Yeah, exactly that. And, you know, and you thank can, you for those great a new profile. You can have a brand new profile and just start doing that and connect with the right people. Like recruiters, you want to connect with recruiters. Yes. Um, lead sourcing specialists are really good because they're the ones doing the headhunting. Um, people in the industry mm -hmm. itself, like CEOs, uh, COOs, you know, anybody who operates within the business, try to connect with them. Just build, don't go in there for the kill and just start going, oh, yeah, can I get a job? It's like if you've, got, if you've got content coming out related to their industry and then you're building that relationship up as a conversation, naturally they're going to come to your profile. And if if they're interested in, in continuing, there's a good chance you might build that into a relationship where they say, oh, have you got a CV? You know, yeah, I've got my CV. Here it is. Okay, well, I'm going to get you in contact with the right person. Yeah. So it does help. Yeah. Yes, yes. Those are great tips, Darren. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, you can leave them below. So tune in next time for another great question with Darren.